Hello again everyone, Joanne with StampingInTheValley.com and welcome to my craft room. I had a 100% sellout at the craft show that I did this past weekend. In fact, I didn't even, I couldn't even go back on Saturday because I had no product to sell. So next year I'm going to really have to double up. I doubled up this year, but I'm going to have to really double up next year. I'm definitely not complaining. I am thrilled. And I want to thank everybody if you came out to see the show. It was a great show. Everyone is so creative there and such nice folks to be around every year. I hope um, that I'll be able to do this show again next year. So back in the craft room now, and we are going to make this beautiful card today. I used from the Painted Harvest stamp set the um, like the sunflowers here and I made a wreath it's all over the internet and Facebook and Pinterest um, the little wreath so then I just kind of wrapped the card up like a present so we'll be back in a moment and put this card together we're going to start by making our wreath remember if you order $25 in product from me um, this month, that's before shipping, handling, and taxes. These are our two free card kits for the month. I send you these kits. Um, even the envelopes are included. No stamped images. You'll get the element though, like you'll get the stitched framelit here, but you won't get the piece on earth stamped on it. You can stamp whatever you want on it. So mostly of the time my kits are um, elements of DSP and some glitter stuff and things that I can punch out or run through the big shot for you guys so that you can make a full card. And I even tie the bow for you. Please watch the video at the end of this one and it'll explain everything to you. But just $25 in Stampin' Up! product before shipping, handling, and taxes, and I send that to you. And if you're a new customer, I will be sending you the catalogs, the annual and the Christmas catalog. And I forgot to tell you guys, I can't believe I'm even saying this. Um, the mailing sector is coming out, uh, so if you have ordered from me in the past year, I will be sending you a free occasions catalog with the celebration catalog with it. Um, so look for that in the mail. That should be coming in about a month. I can't believe that we're even talking about that uh, occasion catalog and celebration. That's amazing. I'm just getting into all of this Christmas. So to make this card, it's a two-step stamping technique, the Painted Harvest. Uh, stamp set right here and we're going to use like I said the little flower image here and I used from the Merry Patterns the Merry Christmas right here um, stamp so I I really enjoy that Merry Patterns I haven't done enough with it um, it's a fun stamp set so to, for today what we're going to start with is the more solid image of the flower okay and with that when there's two-step stamping I like to use my lightest color on the on the first step so this solid step I have an old olive stamping spot I don't have the um, full-size pad it's on my list now because I've used a bunch of old olive this Christmas season what a show guys oh my gosh I had so much fun so much fun to visit with people that I knew from last year and then things were selling I was so happy people were so happy with the little things that I made my little um, Christmas trees kisses uh, really sold the best so but I did sell out of everything all the candles all the hot cocoa packs all the Christmas trees all the nuggets gone so this is like a watercolor image so go ahead and let the stamp sit on the paper so that it, the ink kind of bleeds into the paper a little bit because you're going to have um, a toning effect on here and it's going to look almost smudgy, but that's normal. This is, this is perfect, absolutely perfect. Okay, so then the darker color, I'm going to use Garden Green. And then it's this stamp right here. See, this one has less surface area, so I'm going to ink this up nicely in my garden green. Beautiful color for Christmas. And then I just kind of look where things um, jet out or the shape of the inside of the circle. Um, and I try to just line this up the best I can. Um, there's no right or wrong to this. I just try 
to make it look <laughs> um, like I knew what I was doing. And it really doesn't matter. You can kind of put this over top of this wherever that you want and it really lines up. I'm going for it right there. And again, I'm going to let it sit and I'm kind of rubbing it, but don't rock it, okay? Just like that. It's perfect. It doesn't matter really <laughs> with this. Isn't that beautiful? That made a beautiful wreath. Now we're going to decorate. Let me go ahead and close this up. We're going to get these little um, dots that came in the stamp set. Get our cherry cobbler. And we're going to put berries. So, you know, the rule of three is fantastic. So that's how I begin. I do three. Okay, then I see where I can go with another three. Like these are kind of in, so I'm going to go toward the outer edge. Now, with these little berries. And that's perfect, I think. I like that just the way it is. Maybe one more right in here. No, no, I'm afraid I'll get too much and it'll be too crowded because we are going to put a bow. So the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and run this through the Big Shot with this circle framelit. And this is a stitched framelit. And I'll be right back and we'll go ahead and start to put everything together. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and put the card together. So our base is eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. It will open like this. And our first layer is five and a quarter by four of the beautiful Merry Little Christmas DSP. This is gorgeous paper. Olive green and um, old olive and uh, black and white. And I just love it. And remember, all the Stampin' Up! paper is double-sided. So this will go down here, but first we want to wrap our present. I chose this gorgeous ribbon. This is called Natural Trim. And this has gold running through it. We also have it with silver running through it, but I chose the gold, so that's what we'll use today. And um, I just wanted this to look like a present. It just The stripes just reminded me of a present. So we're going to move our card base away. I'm going to flip this over and take a little snail. Put it about halfway down and take my first piece that I've cut. I've just cut it a little oversized from the paper, that's all. And I'm going to kind of line it up on this line right here. This one right here on that green and white. And that will help me to keep things straight right there. And as I bend it over, I'm in the snail and it's going to hold that ribbon for me. See how easy that is, guys? And it just holds it down. Now, you can put the other ribbon any way that you want. If you want to put it in the middle or up here, I kind of like it offset, so I'm going to do that again on this one. So now about a third of the way, again, I'm going to put a little bit of snail, if it'll come out. There we go. A little bit on each side, and then flip this over and then just kind of cross it right there just to let it look like you've wrapped a little present. I think that's so sweet. <laughs> and see that holds it down nicely for you and you can maneuver the card now, okay? So what I'm going to do is flip it over and add the rest of my snail to the back of it. Just like that. Now I bring my card base in and I'm going to go ahead and attach this with an eighth of an inch border around the edge. When you go down in dimension a quarter of an inch that gives you an eighth of an inch border around your card. Okay? Doesn't that look cute? It's coming together nicely. Now I love the gold thread. This is our gold metallic thread. It comes on a spool. And what I do is I take my snail, I'm going to hold this down, and I'm just going to lay down a bunch of snail just to get that really sticky gluey right in there. I take a piece of the gold thread, if I could pick it up, it's so fine, but it makes a nice little burst to a card. 
and I just start with my tail and I put it in the glue and I just loop this around. I like three loops on the top and three loops on the bottom most of the time and so I just continue to loop this around and let it kind of go where it wants to because it, it look the messier the better with this so let's see that can go up there and then this can come down here and good okay I'm gonna just take my tail right here I'm gonna cut that off so you don't see it okay and so now that is all stuck into that um, snail adhesive nicely I just kind of manipulate the loops around a little bit let me bring that closer so you can see it okay now let's put this element together so I ran this through the big shot this is old olive also with my circle framelit and I'm going to go ahead and put some snail on the back of the stamped image that we made our wreath and I'm going to center this right here kind of looking where I want my berries because I'm going to bring in this little bow on my on the wreath so right here we have like a little void so I'm going to put that toward the bottom and that's where I'm going to put my bow I'm going to center that nicely now the bow I'm just going to use a glue dot very simply and put it right here and then just I made my bow on my 10 second bow maker and I'm just going to I put the wrong side down so sorry <laughs> right there I want my tails in the back okay just just like that perfect now I'm going to add four dimensionals to the back here and I think that with this circle four is enough that you're not going to get any bounce in the middle of it because you know they're pretty close in proximity there a lot of times you know I tell you guys to put one in the middle if it was one circle larger I would have okay let's bring our card in Oh, look how nice this is coming together. And we have our gold thread behind here accenting our gold ribbon. And our little ribbon, look how pretty on our wreath. Doesn't that just make that? Look, at that is awesome, guys. I'm so happy to craft with you guys. Um, so, and then, <laughs> I kind of feel like I've been away from here because the craft show has taken so much. And then to sell so much in one day, I know next year I'm going to have to start like in May making everything for this show. Well, <laughs> so um, I kind of feel like I've been away for a while. You know, I've just been doing one video a weekend and I really like to do two or three for you guys because I work all week. So I stamped the Merry Christmas from my um, beautiful hostess set here, the Merry Patterns. Love that little Merry Christmas right there. And I punched it out with the um, classic label punch. Fit perfectly. And I stamped that with Old Olive. And I want it in my green stripe right here. Just like that. And I pop that up with our mini dimensionals. Did I show you that? Those, these are our mini dimensionals. They are fantastic. And these are our regular size dimensionals. You can see the size difference. And the minis fit perfectly behind there, so I didn't have to cut anything off. But here's our cards for today, guys. Thanks so much for watching and tuning in uh, with me and um, putting these beautiful cards together. I hope you like some of the things that I design. Again, if you order $25 in product from me, I'll send you two free card kits. And they are Christmas ones this month. You'll have fun putting these together also. Please go to stampinginthevalley.com, click on the big blue button, and you can shop my online store. Happy crafting!